all that rain yesterday. You, you, yeah. You, you got that rain coming in from Florida, right? Um, or, or, or where'd you just come from? Vegas. Vegas. Oh, I thought it was in Florida. No, nah, it's Vegas, bro. Yeah. Um, well, congrats on your third place. In bro, the man. World no geese. When's the last time you did a uh, gee? I mean, no gee, I'm sorry. Bro. 2015 bro. 2015 <laughs> 2015 I was just but you know the thing is like you won two matches though right I thought I won, I won one match one match it, it was it was uh it was three fights to go okay I won I uh, got through the qualifier lost in the semis but the thing about it that's weird is like I kind of go like we've had the conversation I'm like mm -hmm. hey, you know no, oh, you know, you, you, you haven't done no gi. I like, I don't train no gi, but I'm yeah, like. Yeah, you told me there was not that but, much expectation. But you know but I, mean? I trained jiu-jitsu. Yeah, <laughs> you it's know still jiu-jitsu. Yeah, yeah, I trained jiu-jitsu, so I'm kind of like. You just kind of alter your grips a little bit. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I was like, fuck. But, um, bro, I mean, it was, it was, bro, it was an, it, it was a really good event, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, I, like, it was there. Are you going to do it again? Uh... That sounds like a no. <laughs> well, it's funny because I was like, man, I, you gotta get that I first, need to, bro. I may, to, I may need to start like incorporating some more nogi in my training. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, maybe do a week or two. A, a, yeah, a bro, day you, or two you've of been nogi. pulling guard a lot. You've been hanging out with men too much. <laughs> so I well, need you to get back on your wrestling, <laughs> bro. You know, the, well, <sighs> I need the thing about so so when you're heavier, yeah, right. And you got all those people around you. I'm like, I don't want to go for a scramble and then because it would be just my luck that I'd land on a like you a like under, a rooster rate. You get under, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, no, I'd land on a rooster rate, mm -hmm. like trying to wrestle. Then you know you're training and you like land on some rooster rates and crush some kid's skull. And I'm like, nah, let me just pull guard so I can hurry up and get to the <laughs> ground. But nah, man, I I, I would probably I, I'm thinking that I'll probably do some more nogi tournaments, bro. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna do some more. Yeah, just do a couple, bro. you know, like that, and like you know, just kind of split up your your season, bro. you know, where like half the season, like the beginning of the year is obviously for gi, and then the right. later the years is all everything for no gi. And bro, I, I'm kind of seeing that this is the year for no gi because a lot of people that you've seen, freaking uh, that were primarily dedicated just to gi, I've seen them all transition this year to no gi. You know what I mean? Big names, you know, like Huge that. Names, it started bro. with Titan Dalper, you know what I mean? And Huge yeah. names, bro. Yeah. But I think, but uh, like we were talking about before, I think that transition, and they really need to do something about this, Crown is a good start, but I think their transition is financial, bro. Mm -hmm. The money's in no gi. Yeah, the, that, the and, money's in no gear. and that makes more. And that makes a lot of sense of why I'm you're seeing that because I'm like you know Mikey, you know taking the lead and, and freaking doing so great like that. You know Ty, the Ty Rotolo brothers, you know are yeah. there too. You know you're seeing Tommy Lancaster, freaking uh, um, who else is another one? Um, um, the, you know you got other names, other big names like Hanato Canuto and, and stuff like that that you know been over there and competing and, and actually freaking getting prize money. Yeah, you know, and so like, where's the guillotines that are paying out like that? You right. Know? Yeah, yeah, I get it. You know, people are not getting money. With it, you're yeah. not getting fifty. I think it's fifty thousand dollar bonuses, right? Right. You know, for like subs yeah. and the nights and stuff like yeah. that. Like, yeah, like <laughs> that's a good like that, that's just a, a bonus. You know, what I mean? yeah, that's a huge chunk yeah, of change. Yeah, yeah, so people sure. are people are going after it. So. Um, it's cool. As a matter of fact, one of the well recently, so this is funny. Did you watch the UFC the other night? No. Okay. So the woman's rooster strawweight match. I can't remember which one it was. Was Talita Allen Carr versus? Yeah, you've been talking about her. Yeah. Versus Rian De Santos. Mm -hmm. You know who Rian De Santos is? No. Colton England's wife. Uh yeah, you were telling me that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so uh, how, like, how did that play out? Um. So. It was really, really weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alan Carr won. Yeah. Um, Brianne definitely had the, like, if you looked, like, by the numbers. Yeah. More strikes, more this, more. You know. That's why I asked you last time you brought her up. I was like, is she working on her strike? Bro, though? She, she had more strikes. Here, but she had one <clears throat> of, like, like, one of nine takedowns. Yeah. But she had, like, seven minutes of control or some, some ridiculous number like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it so it ended up being that the judges that were looking at put more weight on the ground control yeah. than they did on the striking, which which kind of sucks because it's just kind of the luck of the draw, what judges you get, well, it, uh, you how know, impressive your striking is. I mean, you know, a lot of times. Styles make matches. So, yeah. you know, I'm like, if you're not well-rounded on those things, so. Both, you know, both, both jiu-jitsu black belts, though. So, it was, I mean, it was it's pretty impressive. But, you know, sometimes, like, You'll say you'll you'll look at the numbers, 
and you'll be like, this person landed more strikes, more significant strikes, mm. um, but they give it to the other person because the person that landed more strikes, you know, their nose was bleeding. Like one, like one punch mm -hmm. opened up, but it doesn't take a lot to open up a cut. Yeah, especially if you're a bleeder. You know, <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people out there that just, you know, bleed, you know. A lot like, of scar yeah. tissue, mm -hmm. you know, doesn't yeah, take a lot to open easy. up a cut. And mm -hmm. then, but, you know, you end up, so anyway, it was, but it, it was, it's a good event. 